I always find this interesting. In your faith, which is the biggest fight and battle of your life, why are so many of us doing this alone? Like you have no one in your team when it comes to your faith. Nobody knows what you love about Jesus or the struggles you have. Nobody knows because you keep that inside. And it is the most important battle of your life. And it's a fight you do by yourself. So we need to deal with this. And I'm sure there's a lot of reasons which keep you from being in that fight. But I think one of them I want to deal with today is shame. I think a lot of you feel shame. Uh, Brene Brown calls shame the swampland of the soul, which I like that metaphor, because it's so true. And I would love to get rid of that word shame from your vocab, because a lot of us struggle with it, but you won't admit it and you won't own it. I mean, I've struggled with it in my life, still do sometimes. But before I deal with it, the difference between guilt and shame, guilt is you feel bad for doing something. You made a mistake, you feel bad about it. So that's guilt. And there's a place for guilt. Guilt is important because it drives you to Jesus. It makes you understand you need a savior. Shame is not, I did something bad. Shame is, I am bad. I am not worthy. And that's where the problem is. Because of what Jesus did, you've been made worthy. You've been made right. You're God's kid. Shame doesn't hold water anymore for God's kids. Guilt does. But shame is that voice that says, you're not good enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not smart enough. You're not talented enough. But it's more than that. I always think shame is the tool the devil uses to keep you from getting involved, from keeping you from stepping up, to keeping you from owning who you are as God's kid. The devil loves shame because shame is silence. Shame is that voice you have when that, someone's making fun of someone here. Shame is the voice that says, you don't want to say something because I'm not perfect either. And if I say something, I'm going to be made fun of. Shame is that voice that keeps you bullying somebody or making fun of people because if you do it to somebody else, you don't have to focus on what you don't like about yourself. Shame is that voice that when you hear a challenge sometimes, maybe it's church, maybe it's a youth group, maybe it's chapel, maybe it's a praise group, maybe it's one of these where you feel God kind of calling you to do something. Shame is the voice that says, no, no, I, I can't do that. Everyone, I'm not perfect. I'm not good enough. Who's going to listen to me? That's shame. I mean, who's in the arena? Who wants to join us so there's blood and sweat and tears? You listen to those people who are with you. You don't listen to people on the sidelines. You don't listen to the trolls on the outside. They're not part of the team. You don't listen to people on Instagram or people on Snapchat who are throwing shade at you. They're not part of your team. They're not bleeding with you. And that's what I want this, this body here to be, people who are in the fight together. Stop listening to that person who's not part of the team. So the idea is to join the arena, to join the fight. So what Paul says in the rest of these verses is to rejoice. Can we celebrate in here when someone does something good? Someone gets accepted into college. Can we actually rejoice with them? Instead of being like, must be nice. I don't know where I'm going yet. Or someone gets a job. They know what they're doing next year. Just go, hey, I I'm working here. Can you be like, that's awesome. Good for you. Is it that hard? No, we just throw shade at people, make fun of people. Like laughing around here at people's expense is the ultimate. And some of the time we laugh at things which Christ came to clean up. Can we not do that anymore? Shame keeps you from getting into the fight. And it's time to stop that. Because this fight is too important. It's for the heart and souls of all of you. And the number of freshmen we got coming next year. It's time we step up.